Hello everyone, I'm VGCN and welcome to my channel. So today we have a few things to do. First off, we're going to work on a spider XP farm um, and we will also focus on getting villagers. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so the spawn is in there and if I come down here you can see um, they will be funneled into there and their drops go into these chests. Um, so as you can hear the uh, zombie spawn is right next to it which means I can activate the two of them at the same time. Unfortunately I cannot activate the skeleton spawner as well um, from the position that I have to um, wait in or to AFK in. Um, but if I go in here... Uh, I'm just going to place some dirt so that I can get inside and uh, take out the torches. Um, the uh, tutorial that I followed to make the spider farm is by, uh, yeah, spider XP farm is by Shalkercraft. Uh, I will leave a link in the corner if uh, any of you are interested in following the same design. The thing with spiders is that um, it's not exactly like the other two the, the zombie and the skeleton spawner XP farms because we do not use um, the bubble elevator to give them full damage. We do, however, uh, or we are able to funnel them into the, the center over there. And um, so, yeah, we cannot give them full damage because they climb walls. So the design is a bit different than for the other two. And... Um, Right, I'm just gonna grab this one and make my way out of here. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> um, right, and we'll see the rates that we get from this farm. One more torch, and they immediately start spawning, so that's a good sign. And I'll take out the dirt and place these blocks. Um, we can see light coming from in there, which may cause some trouble. So, see what I can do about that. And place this. And let's go see if they can get me through this little gap. Okay, so they track towards me, but they cannot hit me. Um, and that is thanks to this uh, trap door up there. Um, so the space is too small for them to get through, which, um, that's really loud. I'm just going to turn the, the sound down a little bit. Where's the hostile creatures? There we go. And, um, yeah, so the drops we get from this farm is, um, spider eyes, which is useful for making, um, potions but I'm mostly interested in the string because I need scaffolding and you need string to make scaffolding so um, I also did make this sword the Bane of Arthropod sword um, doesn't seem to be very effective but yeah let's see some string some eyes I think I'm gonna have to AFK here for a little bit just to get enough string um, and the plus side is we also have uh, XP that we can get from this farm. So that's good. And uh, let's go see our zombies. And uh, oh, look at that shadow. That's very dense. Um, yeah, so zombie spawner and the spider farm can be activated at the same time. Um, skeletons are here because I've been in and out gathering, getting some uh, resources to build the the spider farm. So it's um, it would be great if I could activate all three of them together, but that's not going to work. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Come on, guy. Ooh, he's a he's a sneaky one. Where's your friends? Check over the year. Oh, oh, up there. I see him. I see him. Got him. Next one. And then there's one left. Oh, he's also a sneaky one. Right. Any more? 
I don't think so. Alright guys, that's the uh, third patrol taken out. So I um, I think maybe we're going to need a bigger wall at some point because uh, they just keep showing up. But um, that being done, let's get back to our goals for today, which is to get villagers. Um, but I don't want to go all the way to the village that we found next to the seaside. So our only other option is to get a zombie villager. <laughs> And here we are, guys. I uh, made a little pillar so that I can see any spawns happening. Um, so I think it's only like a 5% chance of a zombie villager spawning. So I don't know how many nights I'm going to have to be out here. But uh, we've got two zombies. So hopefully they will um, <laughs> call some of their friends over if I hurt them. Oh, they died very quickly. Yeah, see, there's two more coming. So um, I'll give you guys the uh, sped up version of how long this takes. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grasp? And the sun is coming up. So i think the first night is a bust um um which i, I guess is kind of expected but uh, i was hoping uh, not to have to do this for very long so let's go and do some other stuff until night time yet another patrol and here they come and there they go <laughs> all right i really want the banner though so i hope that guy didn't fall to his death that would be a shame thank you let's go see where the others went how did you get over there goodness um, Oh, they're angry. All right, let's go see where the other guy went. And way down there, looks like he survived. And there's another guy over here. Oh, wonder if I can get him. Oh, oh, hello. Bye. Wee. <laughs> this the banner guy. I think it's the banner guy. Oh. Um. Yeah, that was the banner guy. Okay, I want to go get that. Okay, let's uh, break this block and... Yep, there we go. Oops, very dark. I want to get out of here <laughs> before something else spawns. And there we go. Alright guys, it's the second night, so let's get to killing some zombies. Oh, oh very 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 dangerous <laughs> come on where'd you go there was a creeper and a jockey okay and a skeleton and there's the creeper I just die. Okay. Mm, right. There he is. <laughs> that was close. Surface a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe there's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need, what you need. We're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic. Believe you could have it, and I know of sadness, the anxious and panic, the infinite vastness of all that is blackness.
Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, skeleton, you better not kill my zombie villager. Oh, and you better not hurt yourself, my guy. Let's take this out. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. Come on in. All right. Um, so <laughs> I prepared this little room over here. Um, come, come, come. Will you get in the cart? Okay, just stay right there. This guy does not want to get in a cart, so <laughs> I'm just going to have to block him in. Oh, no, no. Wait there. And until I have healed him. So. Uh, his jersey is green, though. And he's not picking anything up. Come on. Pick it up. Uh, nope. No, okay, so we have to name tag him. Um, I'm just going to close the door real quick so that nothing else creeps in here. Um, I did manage to get a few name tags from some of the minecart chests, chests and from the dungeon. So, um, okay, let's call him... Uh, Jack. Let's just call him Jack. <laughs> My brain is frozen. <laughs> okay, Jack. Um, can I? No. Let's go around the other side. Um, I'm so glad. Three days, buddy. Three days had to wait for you. all right guys so we have a zombie villager but in order to cure him i need to go into the nether fortress luckily we did find one the only problem is um i would like to get um some fire resistance potions before i go in there because uh, i don't want to face the blazes without it so i have some gold and i'm gonna go quartz mine and Hopefully I will stumble across um, a piglin who can uh, sell me or who I can barter with um, for some um, potions. Alright guys, so I found this guy and um, I had to go all the way back to the fortress to find him because uh, for some reason I couldn't find any piglins anyway he um did give me one fire risk potion and i'm hoping i don't have to spend all of my gold to get more because one is not gonna do it so um yeah gravel really okay that's my last piece of gold and um i still only have one fire risk so i am um, this guy is very stingy i'm going to go and get some more gold and um find another piglin to trade with uh, one that is uh, more generous than this one, hopefully. And I found this guy. He uh, <laughs> went ahead and stole the boots that he traded. But he did give me a soul speed one book. Um, it's not the best, but uh, hopefully I can get better. And um, yeah, I, I have a feeling I'm going to have to trade all of my gold to get more fire rest potions um so let's speed this up for you guys everyone that's our episode for today hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and a comment and ring the bell for notifications because um, tomorrow you do not want to miss the episode because we are going into the fortress but that's all from me for today bye